Not only is that synced north of Scotland, but today's adventure sees us traveling even further north. But before we head off, take a look at this place here. This is our digs. This has been our digs for the last uh, three nights and it's gonna be the digs for the next four nights. But that's nice, but it's nothing compared to where it sat. <laughs> Look at that. All the way around. And up there, believe it or not, we've been photographing a sunrise this morning because it was too good to miss. Welcome to this week's vlog. So as you know from the introduction this morning, we've got to travel north, even further north than where we were actually located, where our digs are at, for about an hour and a half, at least possibly two hours. And we actually made a pact and said, we're not going to stop, because obviously when you're out and about as landscape photographers, every 10 minutes you're stopping. Well, we held that pact for literally 15 minutes, and then we turned around the corner and saw that vision there that site there we've obviously we've shot the, the the castle before now but there's been a little bit of snow last night so these mounted tops look absolutely dish delish so there you go pack broken Now I said today is all about a 15 stop challenge and let me just explain the reason why I bought a 15 stop filter. I bought a 15 stop filter probably seven, a good seven or eight months ago and I haven't used it to, to press. But the reason why I bought a 15 stop filter in my own mindset was not that I wanted to turn up at the seaside and start taking eight and 16 minute long exposures. It's just, realistically, I'm happy for that one, two and four minute exposure, but I wanted to have the ability to shoot that length of time in the middle of the day on a bright sunny day. That's the only reason why I bought a 15 stop filter. I'm not suggesting for, for one second that I don't um, maybe venture into the extremely long shutter speed world. Maybe I will do, I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, yeah, so just in case you're wondering, the reason why I bought a 15 stop filter is just simply so I can shoot that one, two or four minute exposures during a bright sunny day. That's it, simple as that. And a great example of my thought process there is we're driving alongside this loch and we've just seen these gnarly trees placed perfectly on little tiny islands. So for me, that's a great opportunity now to shoot a long exposure and try and do something a little bit different. Now I know uh, with uh, using my Lee app that 125th of a second will give me a four minute exposure, a 250th of a second will give me a two minute exposure. So they're pretty much my target figures. So having said that, I reverse engineer it I shoot obviously in manual, but I've now set my shutter speed to 125th of a second, and then simply adjust my ISO, my aperture, till uh, obviously the light meter or the histogram is exactly where I want it to be. That's it, 125th of a second, drop the 15 stop filter in, timer on there, four minutes, bish bash bosh, and the picture looks like this.
temperatures really, really drop now and the wind is starting to pick up so I might make shooting with my 15 stop filter a little bit trickier. But cracking shot in the background, bridge. <laughs> it's not just the bridge, is it? Let's be honest. That's not just the bridge. Bridge, snow capped mountains in the background. Delightful. I've already taken a six or seven pano shot because, I mean, well, you've got to. That's just the law while you're here. I've got to tell you, I've no idea how I rushed out the van without my hat. But, yeah, that snow is definitely, definitely on its way. But, on a very special location lined up to shoot this afternoon that I'm very excited about. Nicer than this. Probably like you, I watch lots and lots of YouTube. I like watching vloggers, I like watching landscape vloggers, but I watch all sorts on YouTube. Now, there is a particular person who I very much admire on YouTube, it has to be said. He has quite, well, he has an excellent channel on YouTube. He's a lousy photographer, or so he says, but he's lying through his back teeth because He's an outstanding photographer. But what he is, he's somebody who wouldn't stand here and take a picture. He's somebody who will climb to the top of these mountains. And he does that for fun. He does that for enjoyment. Who climbs mountains for enjoyment, for heaven's sake? Anyway, I'm doing lots of interviews at the moment. I'm trying to interview as many photographers as I possibly can. So I reached out to him and he come back and said to me, Gary, would love to hook up, would love to do a vlog with you, would love to be interviewed, but the condition is this. You can interview me on my patch. I'm guessing that doesn't mean down here then. It means up there. He said to me, I'll interview you, but on one condition, you climb a damn mountain with me. Now what sort of Burke would agree to that. Probably a Burke that dresses like this. So tomorrow we've got a storm due in and there's already snow on the mountain tops and there's more snow due this afternoon and tonight. And I've got to climb a mountain just to chat with a bloody bloke. <sighs> shouldn't have rung him, I shouldn't have rung him. Fingers crossed I'm meeting him tonight. I'm not going to say who it is. That's going to be a bit of a surprise, but that's either coming up next week or that's coming up the week after. But I am super, super excited. It's somebody who I very, very much admire. Somebody who I've reached out to a long time ago and I didn't get the opportunity at that point, but now I'm in his patch. He's agreed to meet up with me. So I'm super excited about that. So there you go. That's a little bit of an advert for something that's coming up on my channel next week or the week after.
last shot of the day maybe do a bit of blue hour as well but this is definitely the last shot of the day i'll grab a couple of shots across the beach but uh i don't know i quite like this composition I haven't got me wellies on and the waves as you can see are coming up quite a bit <laughs> um, i haven't got anything underneath the tripod tripod legs either so the chance that might be sinking in the sand well i'm only opting for an eight second exposure so fingers crossed if i take a few of them one of them will work right gonna call that it i'm out and about again tomorrow um i think we're going around the south of the island tomorrow so next week's vlog will be completely different definitely definitely the last shot of the day um, going for a really minimalistic feel I've isolated one rock and I'm going to put it right in the center of the frame two-thirds floor one-third sky it's after sunset now so I'll probably keep shooting this until we go into the blue hour and all I'm doing on a six second exposure I'm actually photographing it as the tide is coming in certain times because a tide is coming in like now and it's stopping around about a third of the way to the frame so it's giving me a nice line which is creating a third of my image and then every now and again we get a big wave that comes up and around us and in which case i'll take the picture as it starts to recede which is really nice because it gives us all those trails and lines which end up as leading lines taking us to that rock a really minimalistic feel but again absolutely love and adore it right so that is it i'm going to pull the plug on this uh, vlog this is part two of my trip around ascent and i must admit um it's breathtaking it's absolutely round every corner is breathtaking so thank you very much steve for sticking with me on this vlog part three will be out i think in a few days time or next week do check that out okay first time here uh, give me a like, give me a, a subscribe if you think my content is worthy of it and hit that notification bell to see part three and if you haven't already watched part one, go and watch part one. Oh. <laughs>